Okay, so the next problem if x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y plus c is equal to 0 represents the circle with radius 6. With radius 6, find the value of c. So, first we will write the given equation. So, given equation of circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y plus c is equal to 0. It's a given equation. Now, from this what we do, we find out the values of g and f. How to find the values of g and f? We consider a general equation x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now, we compare these two. See, this is a given equation of circle and this is a general equation of circle. So we compare these two. See. Now what is coefficient of x in the general equation? It is 2g. And what is coefficient of x in the given equation? Minus 4. So what is g value? g value is minus 2. Then 2f is equal to, what is coefficient of y in the general equation? 2f. And here it is 6. So f value is 6 by 2. What is 6 by 2? 3. Now, from the equation, what is C? C is nothing but the same C. So, no change in that. Now, after getting G and F values, we have to find out the value of C. And what is given condition? The given condition is radius is equal to 6. So, now, R is equal to 6. Here, R means radius. See, this is given to us. Given, R is equal to 6. Now, how to find the radius? The formula to give the radius is under root of g square plus x square minus c. But what is r? r is under root of g square plus x square minus c is equal to 6. Now I will substitute the values. So under root of g1 it is minus 2. So minus 2 whole square is 4. And what is f value? f value is 3. If, it's, if I substitute 3 square is 9. And what is c value from this equation? c value is nothing but c. Substitute that c is equal to 6. So, under root of, so what I write here. So, next, under root of, under root of 4 plus 9, 13 minus c is equal to 6. To eliminate root, we square them on both sides. That is, 13 minus c is equal to 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. Now, we have to find out the value of c. So, minus c is equal to 36 minus 13 minus c is equal to 23. So therefore what is c value? c value is minus 23. Minus c is equal to 23. So c value is minus 23. That's also this problem is coming. So next question, find the center and radius, this second question, find the center and radius of the following circles, that the first one, find the center and radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x, x squared plus y squared, minus 4x, minus 8y, minus 41 is equal to 0. So, here you have to find out the center and radius. So, what is center for a general equation? Suppose if the equation is x squared plus y squared, plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So the center of the circle is minus g comma minus f. This is the center. And radius under root of g square plus f square minus c. So here what we do? First we find out the center. In order to find the center, we need to find the values of g and f. So if you compare the given equation with the general equation, what is coefficient of x? 2g. And here what is coefficient of x? Minus 4. Then coefficient of y? 2f. And what is coefficient of y? Minus 8. 
So what is G value? G value is minus 2. F value is minus 4. So now center minus G comma minus L. So this is equal to minus G. If I substitute here, minus G means it will become 2 comma minus L. Minus is minus plus. If I substitute this will become 4. So 2 comma 4 is the center. Now radius R is equal to under root of g square plus x square minus c. g square is secant square this or this. Both are same. Minus 2 square is 4 plus x square 16 and minus c. So what is c value from the given equation? It is minus 41. So already we have minus in the form of c. g square plus x square minus c. g square plus x square minus. What is c value? Minus 41. Minus into minus plus 41. So, R is equal to under root of 16 plus 4, 20. 20 plus 41 is 61. So, this is radius. Center minus G comma minus F. We are substituting this G value and F value in minus G minus F. So, that we get 2 comma 4. After that, radius. Under root of G square. G square plus F square minus C. Minus into minus plus. And C is 41. Add this, you get the answer. 20 plus 41 is 61. That's all. So, next question. So, again, it is point center and radius, but the equation only changes. So, next. <coughs> Find the center and radius of the circle. Now, the equation is 3x square plus 3y square minus 5x minus 6y. Minus 5x minus 6y plus 4 is equal to 0. Find the center and radius of the circle. 3x square plus 3y square minus 5x. Minus 5x minus 6y plus 4 is equal to 0. So here, see what is the equation of a circle? We have three conditions. That it is it should be a second degree equation. See. Circle equation will be a second degree equation and the second condition is always coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of y square. We discussed this in the last class. So coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of y square and see here coefficient of x square and coefficient of y square is equal but the important point is we should be equal and the coefficient of x square and y square is always 1. Then only we have to start the problem, otherwise we should not do it. So now to make coefficient of x square and y square as unity, unity means 1, I will divide the complete equation with 3. So if I divide by 3, x square plus y square minus 5x by 3 minus 6y by 3 plus 4 by 3 is equal to 0. Why do I have to divide by 3? The reason is in order to solve the problem, coefficient of x square and y square must be equal and it should be 1. Here it is not 1, it is 3. To make it as unity, we divide the complete equation with the coefficient of x square and y square. Always these two will be same in circles. So whenever you are doing the problem, check the coefficient of x square and y square. It should be always 1. If it is not 1, you have to make it as unity. That means 1 and you have to solve the problem. Now we divided this. After dividing, we will compare this equation with the general equation. Now, coefficient of x in the circle is, general equation is 2g. And here the coefficient of x is minus 5 by 3. So, g value will be minus 5 by 6. Next. Coefficient of y in this is 2f. And here in the equation it is, I write minus 3. Oh, sorry. Or minus 3, minus, okay, I'll write minus 6 by 2, no problem, minus 6 by 3, so 3 1s are 3, 2s are you can cancel. So f value is, 2f is equal to minus 2, so f is equal to minus 1. How it is minus 1? f is equal to minus 2 by 2, it is minus 1. Now we got the center, what is center? Center, right, center. So the center is, Minus 5 by, sorry, not minus 5 by 6. It is 
5 by 6 comma 1. Why 5 by 6 comma 1? Because the center is minus c comma minus f minus g when I substitute this will become plus and minus 1 when I substitute instead of f it will become plus 1. So center is 5 by 6 comma 1. After that we have to find out the radius. So radius and r is equal to under root of g square. Already the formula is here g square plus f square minus c. So when I do g square I have to square this. 25 by 36. 25 by 36 g square plus f square and minus c. So what is c value from the equation? 4 by 3. So minus c means it is minus 4 by 3. So r is equal to under root of 25 and taking calcium plus 36 minus 3 goes how many times in 36? 3 goes 12 times, 12 pours of 48. See, 36 is LCM. 36 goes in 36 one time. So, 1 into 25 is 25. Then, here you can assume as 1. 1 goes in 36, 36 times. So, that 36 into 1 is 36. 3 goes 12 times. But 12 you have to multiply to the numerator 12 pours of 48. So, R is equal to under root of 25 plus 36. 25 plus 36 is uh, 61 minus 48 by 36. So if you subtract, what is R? So R is equal to under root of 61 minus 48. 1 by 13 by 36. Or R value will be root 13 by square root of 36 is 6. So radius is under root 13 by 6. So that's all. This problem is completed. Next slide. Okay, it is find the center. It is uh, next one is find the center and radius. Same question. Equation is uh, under root of, this is very important problem, under root of 1 plus m square into x square plus y square minus 2cx minus 2cx minus 2mc1 minus 2mcy is equal to 0. So same, you have to find the center and radius. So whenever you are solving the problem, on center and radius, always write this general equation, write the formula to the right side, okay. Now, so we saw this, see, coefficient of x square and y square must be unity, but here the coefficient of x square and y square is under root of 1 plus x square. So to make this as unity, what we do, we we'll divide the complete equation with under root of 1 plus x square. So if I divide this, we get x square plus y square minus 2c by under root of 1 plus m square into x minus 2mc by under root of 1 plus m square y is equal to 0. So, we made quotient of x square and y square unity. After that, we compare. So, 2g is equal to minus 2c by under root of 1 plus m square. And coefficient of y is 2f in the general equation, and here it is minus 2mc. I am writing the coefficient of y under root of 1 plus n square. So 2, 2 cancels, 2, 2 cancels. Now, what is g value? It is minus c by under root of 1 plus n square, and f value is minus mc by under root of 1 plus m square. Now center minus g comma minus f. See formula already wrote minus g comma minus f. I am substituting now. So g value is minus c by under root of 1 plus m square. I am substituting here. So this will become this will become c by under root of 1 plus m square comma f value I am substituting. This f value I am substituting here. Minus into minus plus. So we get mc by under root of 1 plus m square. 
So this is center. Okay. Now after the center, we have to find out the radius. We have to find out radius. So already the radius is under root of g square plus h square minus c. So now r is equal to under root of g square. So what is g value minus c by under root of 1 plus m square? I am substituting here. If we square, this minus sign cancels. So c square by denominator root also get cancels. 1 plus m square. See, g value is minus c by under root of 1 plus m square. Square c square by 1 plus x square root it cancels. If power is even, this minus sign also cancels. Plus f square. So I am squaring this minus mc by under root of 1 plus m square. So the result for this is m square c square. See, I am squaring m square c square by 1 plus m square. So g square plus f square. Minus C. So in the equation, see, in this equation, we don't have any constant. See, we don't have any constant means the term without x and y. See, this is x coefficient, this is y coefficient, and this is x square y square variables. We don't have any constant. Generally, we have after y term we have a constant. Here we don't have that constant. That means the constant is missing. If the constant is missing, it is understood to be zero. So from the equation, the C value is zero. Now I will simplify this. R is equal to under root of. The common denominator is 1 plus m square. So just write the numerator. C square plus m square c square. So R is equal to under root of c square common. So we get 1 plus m square by 1 plus m square in the root. So everything is in the root. So now 1 plus m square, 1 plus m square cancels. So what we have, r is equal to under root of c square is left out. What is under root of c square? It is c, r value is c. So what is the center? c by under root of 1 plus m square comma, mc by under root of 1 plus m square. And what is the radius we got? r is equal to c. Okay, so this is also complete. Right, so now, similar problems you try, I will write. Just do these problems after completing these two. Just do these two x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 8y minus 96 is equal to 0. So find out center and radius for this. And the next one is 2x squared plus 2y squared. 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 3x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So these two problems you try. After completing these two, just try these two problems. And 
diameter means the line joining two points on the circle which passes through center okay so here diameter means always passes through center this is very important so now this is diameter now the next question next uh, you have a note here a is equal to x1 comma y1 b is equal to x2 comma y2 a is equal to x1 comma y1 b is equal to x2 comma y2 r two end points are two end points are two end points a x1 y1 b x2 y2 are two end points x1 y1 x2 y2 are two end points of the diameter of the diameter of a circle circle then the equation of circle then the equation of circle is x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0 so now when two end points of a circle is given when two end points of the diameter of a circle is given see now this is a so the coordinates of a is x1 y1 and coordinates of b is x2 y2 if two end points of the diameter of a circle is given then how to find the equation of circle it is x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0 so now we will solve one problem Find the equation of circle. Find the equation of circle. Find the equation of circle. Whose end points of diameter? Whose end points? Whose end points of the diameter whose end points of the diameter is whose end points of diameter is 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 4 comma 6 1 comma 2 4 comma 6 okay so set up this now here before solving the problem, just go through the question. So here, here what is given is find the equation of circle whose endpoints of the diameter is 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 6. When two endpoints of diameter of a circle is given, x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0. So x1 y1 x2 y2. Okay, so now what I do since the endpoints are given, I just substitute in this. So x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 y2 is 6 is equal to 0. Now we have to multiply this. So first with x we multiply x square minus 4x x square minus 4x. Now multiply with minus 1. Minus 1 into x is minus x minus into minus plus 1 goes of 4 plus now multiply with y y you have to multiply for these two y minus 6 y square minus 6y then multiply with minus 2 so we get minus 2y plus 12 is equal to 0 now we will regroup this equation so we get x square then y square minus 4x minus x is minus 5x minus 6y minus 2y is minus 8y and constants 4 plus 12 this 16 is equal to 0 so this is the equation of circle when two endpoints of diameter are 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 6 that's all completed this one 
So next, let's see. Similar problems are there. We'll just try these two. One is minus 4 comma three. I'll write it here. Uh, second one is minus 4 comma 3, minus 4 comma 3, 3 comma minus 4. So you can do this one. 3 comma minus 4. Minus 4 comma 3, 3 comma minus 4. And one more problem. 7 comma minus 3, 3 comma 5. 7 comma minus 3, 3 comma minus, sorry, 7 comma minus 3, 3 comma 5. So try these two. So same, find the equation of circle when these two are the end points of diameter. When two end points of diameter is given, you have to find the equation of circle. So you have to do it in the same manner. So this is over. Right, next two. So next one is parametric equations of circle.
So next question is find the parametric equations of a circle. Okay, in the shortcut of writing circle. Find the parametric equations of the circle. In that, the first one is x square plus y square is equal to 4. Now, this is an equation in Cartesian form. We have to express in parametric form. So, for that, what we do is we need center and radius. See, in the parametric equation, so what is parametric equations we have? It is uh, x is equal to a plus r cos theta and y is equal to b plus r sin theta. Now, here you have to remember the terms. What is this a and b called center? So, we need to find the center of the circle. So, how to find the center of the circle? See, always you have to remember the formulas. We have one more general equation, uh, standard form of equation x square plus y square is equal to r square. So, compare these two. See, already I have given this. If the equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square, what is the center? Center is 0 comma 0. We discussed already the center is 0 comma 0. And what is the radius? We compare these two. See, comparison means r square is equal to 4. Then what is r value? It is 2. Okay, r value is 2. So we have center. Center means what? Clearly a value and b value. a is 0, b is 0. And r square is equal to 4, r is equal to 2. How we are comparing? We just compare these two. r square is equal to 4, r value we get 2. Just substitute here. A value 0 plus 2 cos theta y is equal to 0 plus 2 sin theta. So x is equal to 2 cos theta y is equal to 2 sin theta. So these are the parametric equations of the circle. Next one. Same, find the parametric equations of the circle. Only I will change the equation. It is 4 into x square plus y square is equal to 9. Okay. This is the question. So, find the parametric equations of a circle. Circle equation is 4 into x square plus y square is equal to 9. Now, always coefficient of x square and y square must be unity. To make this as unity, I divide by 4. I have to divide by 4. Important. So, x square plus y square is equal to 9 by 4. x square plus y square is equal to 9 by 4. Now, this x square plus y square is equal to 9 by 4. We compare with the equation x square plus y square is equal to r square. So, if I compare... Okay, let me compare. So, what is the center? It is origin 0, 0. And r square is equal to 9 by 4. And r value is 3 by 2. So, we have a center and radius. That means we have the values of a and b represent center. So, x is equal to a plus r cos theta. y is equal to b plus r sin theta. Substitute this x is equal to 0 plus 3 by 2 cos theta and the substituting y is equal to 0 plus 3 by 2 sin theta. So, what is x is equal to 3 by 2 cos theta and what is y is equal to 3 by 2 sin theta. So, this is a parametric equation of the circle. Next, next is again find the parametric equations of a circle x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is equal to x square x square we have to find the Parametric equations of a circle. See now, um, the 
the equation of a circle is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is equal to a square. So now we have to compare this. We have an equation of circle x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. We can compare with this and we can find out centers or else one more method is you expand x minus 3 whole square then expand y minus 4 whole square add that 8 square 64 regroup them you get the equation of circle okay so to expand and regroup them you get a general equation or else you have a direct formula x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square you can do like this also compare these two directly you get the center what is center a comma b it is clearly b comma 4 and r square is equal to x square okay then r value is 8 now we have center and radius so what is a parametric equation x is equal to a plus r cos theta y is equal to b plus r sin theta substitute this x is equal to 3 plus 8 cos theta and y is equal to b value is 4 plus 8 sin theta that's all center you have to substitute and radius and this theta is a parameter right as it is. So this is a parametric equation of a circle. Parametric equation of the given circle. Okay. Next one. X square plus y square. Same. Again, it is a parametric equation of a circle. But the equation is x square plus y square. X square plus y square. Minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0 x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0 so here to find the parametric equation always you have to refer the equation this is a general form of equation so you have to compare with x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 compare with this so what is 2g minus 4 and what is 2f minus 6 compare the coefficients of x and y we get this g value is minus 4 by 2 minus 4 by 2 is minus 2 and f value is minus 6 by 2 is minus 3 after that we need to find the center what is center it is minus g comma center is minus g comma minus f substitute so you get 2 comma 3 center is minus g comma minus f and substituting in the minus g and minus f so minus g and minus f is the center and substituting minus into minus plus again here minus into minus is plus so we got 2 comma substitute in this so x is equal to a value a is nothing but center 2 plus radius oh, sorry, radius so what is radius radius is equal to under root of g square plus f square minus c minus c means from the equation it is minus 12 so it will be plus 12 so r is equal to under root of 25 you already did get 25 so what is r value so r value is under root of 25 is 5 so we have center and radius now it's substituting parametric form so x is equal to 2 plus 5 cos theta and y is equal to 3 plus 5 sin theta. So, this is a parametric equation of a circle. Okay. So, next to one problem you just do, try this problem. So, next one is again, is a find a parametric equation uh, x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 2 plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 so try this problem so parametric equations of circle is completed Next one, show that, 
शो दैट शो दैट ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री का मा माइनस वन ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री का मा माइनस वन लाइस ऑन द सर्कल लाइस ऑन द सर्कल लाइस ऑन द सर्कल एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो ऑल्सो फाइन ऑल्सो फाइन द अदर एंड ऑल्सो फाइन ऑल्सो फाइन द अदर एंड ऑफ द डायमीटर ऑल्सो फाइन द अदर एंड ऑफ द डायमीटर थ्रू थ्रू ए ऑल्सो फाइन द अदर एंड ऑफ डायमीटर थ्रू ए ओके सी फर्स्ट वील राइट द डिवाइड इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल x square plus y square minus two x plus four y is equal to zero. Now the first point is here we have to show that this point three comma minus one lies on the circle. Lies on the circle x square plus y square minus two x plus four y is equal to zero. See whenever a point lies on a circle, we have to substitute. That means instead of x we will substitute three. Instead of y we will substitute minus one. It should satisfy. What is the meaning of satisfy? When you substitute three comma minus one in the circle, it should satisfy it. You should get the RHS. What is RHS? Zero. So you have to get zero if you substitute three comma minus one. Then only we say the point lies. Otherwise, it does not lie. So we substitute three square nine minus one square one minus two into three plus four into minus one. We should get the result as zero. So nine plus one ten minus six minus four ten minus six four four minus four is zero. So we got RHS. Here we got RHS. Therefore we say A is equal to three comma minus one lies on the lies on the circle. So we prove that the point lies on the circle. So problem is not completed. Also find Other end of the diameter to A. That means we draw the circle. So this is the circle. Diameter. The line joining two end points on the circle and passes through center is the diameter. So we locate the center. Okay. So so this is completed. We prove the first part. Show that the point lies on the circle is over. Okay. Next. Now we have to find the other end of a diameter. So here, one end of a diameter is given. One end of a diameter is three comma minus one. Other end of a diameter we have to find out. So I am assuming the other end as x comma y. See, one end is given, so we have to find the other end of a diameter through it. That means the line which passes through A is nothing but it meets at R. Other end at B, so you have to find out B x comma y. So to find out that what I do, write x square plus y square minus two x plus four y is equal to zero. I'll find out the center. Center two g is equal to minus two. Two f is equal to four. G value is minus one. F value is two. Now what is center? Center is minus g comma minus f. It is clearly one comma minus two. Now I'll substitute the center. Right? Now, how to find x comma y? How to find x comma y? Diameter always passes through center. Now here, the center is the midpoint of AB. See, this is a. Now what is uh, this O to A called? Radius. And what is O to B called? Radius. That means O A and O B are at equal distances. If O A and O B are at equal distances, then what is this O called? This O is called the midpoint of A B. So using the midpoint, I'll find out the other end, x comma y. So what is midpoint? So one minute. Uh, so first, uh, you are the center. Now let 
the other end let the other end b is equal to x comma y so now what i do is i use the midpoint see i use the midpoint that means x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 see this is a midpoint of this line ab but what is the midpoint of the line ab 1 comma minus 2 so i equate it to 1 comma minus 2 see 1 comma minus 2 is a midpoint 1 comma minus 2 is a center since 1 comma minus 2 is a midpoint to find the other end x comma y i am using midpoint so now this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 substitute and equate i am doing it substitute and equate so what is x1 3 plus x by 2 x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 equal to 1 comma minus 2 the point is to equate to this so here what we get is 3 plus x by 2 Is equal to one. I am equating x coordinate. Now I equate y coordinate. Minus one plus y by two is equal to minus two. So three plus x is equal to two. Minus one plus y is equal to minus four. Two to the four cross multiplication. So what is x is equal to? It is two minus three minus one. And what is y is equal to? Minus four plus one. See, this is minus four. This minus one will transfer to the other side. Minus four plus one will be minus three. After this, see, you should write the last step. Therefore, what is point D? What is other end we get? Minus one comma minus three. This is a compulsory you are writing. Minus one comma minus three. So, therefore, what is the other end? It is nothing but x comma y. That is minus one comma. Minus three. So whenever you solve the problem, draw the circle, locate the center and end points, then you. So this problem is completed. So next we will see one similar problem. You try. Show that the point. Show that the point. Show that the point. A minus three comma zero minus three comma zero lies on the circle x square plus y square plus eight x x square plus y square plus eight x plus twelve y plus fifteen is equal to zero eight x plus twelve y plus fifteen is equal to zero. Show that the point minus three comma zero lies on the circle. x square plus y square plus 8x plus 12y plus 15 is equal to zero. Also find the other end of the diagonal through it. So similar problem you try. Oh, thank you.